how important do you think it is that your people speak up at work? Would you like your people to bring you their good ideas, for your team to make better decisions, for them to challenge you and to give each other feedback? Would you like them to speak up with any concerns they have, or would you rather they stay quiet and go passive aggressive on you? Well, I think there's a pretty good chance you'd rather have the former. And I'm Dr. John Izzo, and I'm in the business of conversations that make the difference. And today I'd like to have a conversation with you about why it's so important for your people to speak up at work and three simple ways you can make it more likely for them to do so. Now, research shows that when people feel they can speak up at work, they are more committed and engaged when, than when they feel they can't. We also know that when people speak up, teams make better decisions because of the diversity of views that wind up being explored. What's more, it turns out that people who speak up and disagree constructively are more admired by both their bosses and their colleagues. But how do we get people to speak up? Today I want to talk about three simple things we can do as leaders on a regular basis that will really get your people bringing their ideas and speaking up constructively. First, and this will sound so simple, ask your people to speak up. Now it is amazing how many leaders and companies don't do that very thing. We simply don't let people know that we want their opinion. I experienced the positive side of this early in my own career. In my first job after graduate school with my first new boss, Frank Storch, and on the first day of my job working for Frank, he gave me a little speech in which he said, John, I want you to know it is your job to disagree with me. In fact, he said, if you agree with me all the time, one of us is unnecessary. And he smiled a little smile as if to say, it won't be me. But what a great message. From day one, Frank let me know, I want your ideas. One of my clients, TD Industries, which Fortune Magazine says is one of the best companies to work for in America, literally has hardwired that conversation into every first day of every new person's job. Their leader sits down with them on the first day of their job at TD Industries and says, you know, you're a new person. You're really important. You have a fresh set of eyes and a fresh set of ideas. We want to hear from you. It is your job to bring us your ideas. And in fact, if you're trying to get your people to go through a lot of change to really step it up, it's even more important that you welcome their ideas. Jack Welch knew this when he tried to transform General Electric, because in the early days he often went around and said to people, I welcome skeptics, because you're the ones who are going to help us achieve what we need to do. I don't want cynics, but I want skeptics. I want you to challenge me, to challenge the way it's going to work, because by speaking up, we're going to succeed. So the first thing is, Ask people for their ideas. Make it clear from the very beginning that you want to hear from them. Now, the second thing, if we want people to speak up, is we must watch our reaction when people do speak up. It's so easy for us to shut people down without meaning to. So I'd like you to practice a simple formula. When someone brings you an idea or challenges you, begin by always saying thank you. Thank you for caring enough to challenge the way our meetings are going. Thank you for caring enough for giving me feedback, whatever it is. And then ask them for more detail. Don't react. And always see merit in the idea that people bring. So if someone speaks up and challenges and brings their ideas, make sure you recognize at least one positive thing about their idea before you judge or criticize the idea in any way. And in fact, sometimes we shut people down without meaning to at all. I think of a client of mine that hired a middle manager from a, com a competitor overseas who was a very, very successful competitor. In fact, they hired this guy because they thought he could bring some great ideas from their competitor. But when the guy arrived, over the first few months, every time he would say, you know, back when I was at X company, we used to do it this way, people would say to him, yeah, but you're not there anymore, are you? Now, they didn't mean to, but in a subtle way, what they were saying was, well, we hired you to bring your ideas from the other company, but we didn't really want to hear them. And in small but subtle ways, we often do that as leaders. We wind up shutting people down without meaning to. So again, practice this simple idea. Thank you. Tell me more about the idea. And finally, make sure to recognize merit and never say those deadly words. Well, you're not there anymore. In fact, say, wow, we want to hear your ideas because you're new. Finally, if we want people to speak up, don't be afraid to call on individuals and challenge them to speak up. 
If you're in a meeting, for example, or have an important issue, call on individuals. Say, Robin, what do you think of that? Jack, uh, what is your perspective on this? Emily, uh, what's your take on the situation we're in? Don't let people stay silent. It's amazing how often people will speak up when we make it clear that we want them as individuals to speak up and even let them know that we expect them to do so. So don't be afraid to call on those individuals who have remained silent or haven't spoken up and let them know you really want and, in fact, expect their ideas. Now, in our Stepping Up workshops uh, being conducted in companies all across the globe, we challenge people to speak up constructively, but we also teach leaders to create a climate where people will speak up. Things like I've talked to you about today, about asking people to speak up, about letting them know we want their opinion and watching our reaction, but a lot more great ideas as well. So if you'd like to find out more about a special program we're offering, a pilot program for new clients who want to try the Step Up program, contact the name that's on the email that you received today. So again, remember, when people speak up, it makes our company better, and they're more engaged and committed, and the things we do as leaders make a big difference. I'm Dr. John Izzo. Keep on leading.